Let us talk now about a really cutting edge technology that is out there about hair removal. You know, summertime is here. Nobody wants all that unsightly hair, and you know, wherever it is. And uh, hey, Sandra's talking about that with one of the greatest doctors in San Diego today. Yep. There you go, Sandra. I sure am. Thanks, Dan. And we're going to need you to come on into the green room here because you're going to be our guinea pig. Good morning, everybody. We're talking to Mitch Goldman, Dr. Mitch Goldman from La Jolla Spa MD, about this new uh, laser treatment. It's something that you can do at home. It's summertime, and you probably get a lot of complaints from people who go into your office, men and women, about unwanted hair. Yes, and we do have, and we have had for the last 10, 15 years, ways to remove hair almost permanently with lasers. But what we haven't had is a technique or a machine where someone could actually use it at home in the privacy of their own home to do those one or two hairs that may not resolve after laser hair removal or those personal areas that they may not want a technician to do. Sure, that you just feel uncomfortable or embarrassed yes. about going into. Now, you brought your assistant with you today, and there she's holding the contraption. Tell us about it. Yes, this is Lazanne Fletcher, our uh -huh. physician assistant, and it's important to know that the laser hair removal, although it, in the office it can be done by a physician or a physician assistant at home, this is the very first FDA-approved laser hair removal device, and it's very similar to the devices we actually use in the office that cost $100,000. This one doesn't. It only costs about $1,000, but it, it really works. Okay, Dan Plant, oh, come on down. The birthday boy. <laughs> Nobody admitted to having unwanted hair in the entire building. Well, but Dan, the good sport that he is. You know, we wanted him to. I'm coming clean. We You're wanted him clean. to sort of drop a little bit, and <laughs> but we figured we'll do it. We'll do another area now. Okay. Men usually have a problem mm -hmm. with unwanted hair in the neck. Okay. Yes, and, and I do. Every time I get my hair cut, it's a big white spot right here, right? Right. Of course. And we call it we call it the white collar special. Yeah. And so what uh, Lazanne's going to do? Mm -hmm. You want to do this? Here, I'll yeah. show it first here on Dr. Goldman. Oh, okay. okay. So you can see what it feels like. Okay. okay. Well, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. It really didn't hurt. Okay, so the camera is... If you could do it so the camera could see, yeah. there we go, and show us how it works. Explain what she's doing. Doctor. So what she's doing is okay, she's so actually... a little burning. Right, she's actually putting Ow. the laser onto the hairs, and what you see... It, well, I don't know if the viewers okay. can see it, of course, but it's actually lasering those hairs. The laser goes down to the root of the hairs. Mm -hmm. I can feel that. Yeah, well, it really works. Ooh. We're not doing a fake treatment on you, buddy. Ooh. And we'll, we'll send you the bill later. Does but, the hair disappear uh, immediately? You it know. actually, what happens with <laughs> yes, okay, what happens is it. that the lay, the hair go comes out in the next few days. Okay. So it takes we basically thermally damage the hair. So he may be shedding over the next. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta like make yeah, sure you have a vacuum shedding. or something okay. uh, on set. Okay. It does it hurt, Dan? You know, it's a little burn, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that people, if they're really concerned about wherever their hair is, it's mm -hmm. definitely worth it. I mean, you know, it feels, uh, you know. It doesn't hurt. Well, it hurts a little. <laughs> yeah, it, it hurts a little. It, it, but you know, it actually works. It's not a fake treatment. Yeah. There may be other things you can purchase that sure. don't hurt at all. They re they don't work. So a little teeny bit of pain. Why yeah. would you choose this over, say, waxing or some other type of um, chemical well, hair removal? Well, with chemical hair removals, it always comes back in mm -hmm. a few weeks. Waxing is, a, I think, more painful than this. I don't know if we've ever been waxed, but I would assume well, that my waxing experience, uh, personally, the waxing definitely more painful. Uh, you know, because, you know, you know we're learning way too much about there. everybody you know, today. But, the, you know, we're doing little bits of, of areas. It's mm -hmm. actually an eight millimeter or like a half an inch spot each time, and that's what keeps the pain down. Right. Now, it will take a little bit of time to do Dan's neck effectively. Probably takes about 10 minutes. If you're doing your bikini area, about 10 minutes, and mm -hmm. there's some topical numbing creams that you can put on too again in the privacy of your home that makes it almost painless. Now how long does it take for that hair to grow back? This is not a permanent treatment. You can't say permanent unless the patient goes out and gets in a car accident or something. But it really takes years for the hairs to grow back. Most of the hairs never grow back. But we can't say permanent because a hair follicle is so cool it actually will regenerate itself. So what I tell my patients is we usually do three treatments in the office in the springtime and then they're good for the entire summer practically mm -hmm. maybe you'll have to use the trio once or twice in the summer and then every year you come back for another touch-up treatment mm -hmm. and zap it all away and there you go now so we i'm going to be shedding and then i'll be nice and clean <laughs> you'll for be nice just, and just clean. for a week for a while <laughs> just shedding Goldman, for a week thanks for Very coming nice. in all